Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe. Okay, folks, we are gonna do another random ranking. Things are really busy at work, so I have some things planned, but I can't get to them. <laughs> so I'm just doing these random rankings before I go to bed, then doing a little editing, and then posting them online because I gotta stick to my daily schedule, my daily vlog, daily post schedule. Because I have this, I have this feeling that if I were to quit or stop one day or give myself a break, I won't come back. And I want to stay on here. I'm having a lot of fun. I like meeting all of you. This is this is this is a lot of fun for me. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a random ranking. Let's pick some movies at random from my movie collection. We're gonna pick three movies, and then we are going to rank them based on a variety of criteria. Uh, let's go down here. Sometimes I rank the movie based on... Oh, I already know what this one is. Uh, sometimes I rank the movie based on my childhood relationship to the film. Sometimes it's uh, based on the craft of the film, how how well I believe it was made, um, how emotional the film may make me. Um, it's, a, it's a variety of things, so let's see. Oh, the movie I thought I had grabbed was not the movie I grabbed. So, first film, Serenity. I thought this was American Gangster, because my American Gangster uh, DVD is very thick like this. So, Serenity, this is like a uh, movie of uh, Firefly, Firefly the TV show, they like made a movie. Um, and that's what this is. It took me a while to get into this series and movie. Like, I had seen the movie before I saw the show. And then I went back and watched the show. And I don't think I finished it. I think I was like, I can't get into this. Which is weird because I love sci-fi. Sci-fi, I would say, sci-fi fantasy is probably my favorite genre. But, I, I don't know. It just wasn't, I wasn't connecting with it. And I just went back to it one day. I was like, okay, I'm going to try this again. And then I enjoyed it. So, I don't know. It just didn't work for me at first. The show is what I'm talking about. Um, and the movie, I was just kind of like, yeah, well, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, don't, I didn't watch the show. But yeah, I, I like the movie. Um, Starsky and Hutch. I think I already reviewed this one. Didn't I? I'm pretty sure I reviewed this. Why is this back in the collection? Do I own two copies of this? Maybe I own two copies? Wait, no. That's not it. I think I pulled the movie Gran Torino out. I think that's what it was. Because this is a Gran Torino right here. This car that they drive. And I remember talking about how my first car was a Gran Torino. Not the same year as this one right here. Um, it was like a year off. So I can never remember... This is either like a 73, 74, or 75, and I had a 73, 74, or 75, uh, but it was not the same year as this one. But my first car was a Gran Torino. Um, my dad's first car was a Gran Torino, and this show was like on TV when he got his first car. So I think this show, because uh, it's a show from the 70s, inspired my dad to get a Gran Torino as his first car. And then when I you know, was turning 16, I was like, I want one too. My dad's first car was a Gran Torino. Mine will be too. My dad's was green. Mine was similar to this color. Mine was a little bit more orange. This is red here. Mine mine was a little bit more orange. and But it was like a red orange, you know. And that stripe that it has on there, um, my design did not allow for that uh, striping to happen. It could have, but in a very dramatic way. Mine would have been very angled in the back when it goes over the hood. It wouldn't have looked right. Or it could have looked right, but it didn't have that. Mine was just that solid red-orange, and my dad's was, I think, two different tones of green, if I remember right. But this movie, I don't know, it's okay. It's it's like in the middle of uh, like making fun of the show and serious. Like if you've ever seen the Brady Bunch movie or um, the Beverly... Uh, Bev uh, the, the, the Beverly Hillbillies movie, those two movies are big time making fun of the show, right? Like they are spoofs of the show, the sh their shows. But this, I don't think, is a full-on spoof. It 
it rides the line as in it rides the line of like a homage and a spoof and like a recreation obviously it's more humorous than the show but it doesn't dive as deep into spoof territory as things like the Brady Bunch movie or the Beverly Hillbillies movie. Um, but it's good. I just don't think about this movie very often, you know? But I, I like it. Oh gosh, why do I even own this? <sighs> Superhero movie. I probably bought this on Black Friday or got it at a... I, I uh, had a buddy that worked at a pawn shop. I just get stacks on stacks on stacks of movies and then he'd be like I don't know eight eight bucks um, so that might be how I got this I don't know what was I thinking I think I was quantity over quality -ing my collection um, man what on earth why this movie is so bad I barely remember it but I hate these movies. Not, you know, like Scary Movie 1 and 2 are good. But then when they started doing all this stuff, they were so bad. I remember Date Movie, I think, was the worst one I ever saw. I know a lot of people hated Meet the Spartans. I didn't watch that one. I think I, of the bad ones, I think I've only seen this one, Date Movie, and, like, some of the scary movies beyond part two because I think like scary movie three or four I thought was funny obviously the quality had dropped but I was laughing a lot I remember Kelsey um no Le or Leslie Nielsen was in the scary movie that I saw that was funny there were like aliens in it um this guy right here he was in it I can't remember which one that was three or four but yeah man that's a bad movie okay so what are we gonna do here none of these are clear like pop out standout winners to me. I have a clear pop out standout loser. This one's definitely not winning. But here, I'm not really sure. You know, I, I love sci-fi fantasy. So this could be number one, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm just in for a laugh here. So, you know, it could be this one. The My car connection, you know, right here. Maybe it's this one. They also did Dukes of Hazard remake that was kind of doing the same thing where it was right in the line between spoof and just like homage. And um, yeah, I don't know. Just that was came out around the same time as this. What am I going to do? I feel like I know this movie better than Serenity. Serenity, I've seen, I've probably seen them both about the same amount of times actually. But this one is just a little bit more memorable maybe because I know the actors and I know their styles a little bit more. These people I don't really know as well um so i don't know i think i'm gonna go ahead and give starsky and hutch the win here and i'm sure that's blasphemy i'm sure most people are gonna give this the win but i don't know i'm feeling like watching a comedy right now so i'm gonna say starsky and hutch and then serenity again i know you're all putting serenity at number one and then superhero movie, which honestly should just go in the garbage, because I, I doubt I could even sell this. If I if I took just this one movie into some like pawn shop or disc exchange, what would they give me? Would they turn me away? They'd probably turn me away. Or do you think they'd be like, a nickel? They probably wouldn't even give me a nickel. Three cents? What do you think? they probably just throw it away. I don't know. But um, yeah, I think this is my order right here. Have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? I'd love to know what you think about Serenity because when I was in college, I just, I, that, people were always talking about Serenity and Firefly. And I, I don't know, that was a fun time. Just people talking about it. I wasn't that deeply invested in it, but I enjoyed the conversations. It's kind of like that game World of Warcraft and, um, uh, Final Fantasy. I never played that stuff, but all my friends did, and I really loved just sitting there listening to them talk about it. Same with Magic the Gathering. Never played. Well, I did early on. Very early on, but I didn't... I don't know. Two games, maybe. But it... I, I just... I love listening to my friends talk about it, so talk Serenity to me if you want. Talk Firefly to me if you want. Because I just, even, you know, I, even, I may not even have a response. I just want to read about it. it. It will take me back to those times when my friends were all into it and I didn't know anything about it. 
Um, it, was, it was a good time. So, back at it. If you've seen all three of these movies, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. I think most of you are going to put Serenity up first. Um, but on that note, thank you so much for watching this random ranking, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Peer Hangout. Doo-loo, 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 doo. Subscribe!